What's going on guys? It's Steven here. And today I'm it's Sunday. And the grandma left this morning. And I got to help air up her tires and use an ice scraper for her back window. So anyways, I kinda wanted to tell y'all guys a Christmas. So one of my Christmas stories since I really don't have anything else to do. Even though I have a lot of activities going on in here. And me walking around. Okay, so... Right, I really need to decide what I should do first. Like, which story I should tell first. Hmm. Can I just think? Aha. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to call this one the time I woke up in the middle of the night while Santa wasn't done. <laughs> okay, so it all started in on Christmas Eve of second grade. We were so ready to get to bed and open our presents the next day. Ooh, this, this, this air vent feels good. I'm just gonna have to sit right next to the vent and just tell this story behind the, in front of the curtain. So anyways, it was Christmas Eve. We were all looking forward towards Christmas and it was kind of rainy. So, back then I thought I was afraid that Santa wouldn't make it with all the, with all the weather. <laughs> and my mom asked me if I thought that Santa would be okay in all this weather. And I said, I hope he is. Oh crap. At first I just saw, I saw my breath. Yeah. While I'm right next to the air vent. <laughs> Later we went to bed, as usual. And, now get this, now just remember this. This room did not look like how it is now. The bed, it just still is the same bed, same fan, same furniture, but it was just all in different spots. So, um, right here was where the bed was originally, previously at, while I was in second grade. Can I help you? I'm gonna get your boots out of here. All right. From where I want to go feed them. Okay. Ugh. This air feels good. This this heat feels good. It better does. Alright, so anyways. Okay. I haven't seen Abby in like all week. It was actually, I'm actually pretty glad to see her. <laughs> so anyways, just picture the bed being over here and the walls being blue and the curtains being red. I went to bed, usually... Usually I left the door open and the hall light on, and this light off, and slept on the bed. I slept pretty good. Well, actually, I had trouble falling asleep. And my dad came in the room and was like, and was like "You having trouble sleeping?" And I was like, "Yep." And he said, "I had trouble sleeping too." <laughs> Then he just left the room. That that's all he'd do. Then I, I did eventually go to sleep, 
but it didn't happen for like at least like a few minutes later. <sighs> and I woke up. I don't even remember what I was doing, but I just got up and walked out the door, which was open. I went into the family room. And saw this. Well, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't have the the sectional back then. We had one couch and a love seat and my dad's recliner. And the red chair and the rocking chair were in there too. So I, I think it was the love seat that I walked up to. And there was like a big blanket over all of our presents. But I just felt it just to see what was in it. And I said, Santa came. Then to make sure that he did come, I walked around the couch and checked to see if he had eaten his cookies, which he didn't yet. And I think my mom was helping. My, my parents were helping him. And they said, Stephen, Santa's not done yet. But, yeah, you need to go back to bed. Like, every, every Please do not think I still believe in Santa. But I do believe in this air, in this heat. I keep saying air. And they were like, holy crap, Santa did come. But I can't open him yet. And I was still pretty tired, and I actually, our room's kind of easy to enter because it's right that archway. It's right next, right on the right of that archway. For some odd reason, I started going left into the to the opposite room of mine, which was which is Jennifer's. And my mom, mom was like. Falling behind saying, no, no, don't do that, don't do that. Then I just shook my head like, then looked around, noticed I was in the wrong room and went back to my room. It took me a few minutes to go to sleep and I'd be hoping Santa wouldn't, wouldn't leave. <laughs> but if he was real, I might have ruined the whole thing for everything, for everyone. When I woke again, it was already morning. The sun, the sun always rises uh, over here, so it, I usually get the sun shining in. Well, not above the curtains, above the curtains, yeah. Then I did my usual stuff as a kid and. Woke everyone up, saying it's Christmas, and we got to open in presents. <laughs> Man. I do kind of wish Santa was real. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> but, it is, but it was pretty fun. Telling him what we wanted for Christmas. <laughs> And I bet I, uh, and I have a feeling, but I, let's just say I walked up to some random Santa and he asked me what it was for Christmas. I'd say, I want my own Ford F-150. That is true. <laughs> and someday I'll get my own F-150. So, yep. Yeah. That's all for now. Okay. And Tuesday's a half day, so I might get a video out on that on that day. And Christmas break will be starting and then we can have more videos out. So yeah.
right. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to thumbs up. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all later.